not seem like it with the warm weather we've been experiencing lately, but we know that colder weather and snow is on the way. Yeah, and we all know how annoying it is to be stuck behind somebody who's got all that snow piled high up on their roof and have it blow back at you when you're riding behind them. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin here now with Good a morning, debate guys. that's stirring on Facebook you Live guys, right now. You guys, I was just, I was late because I was Facebook Living with viewers. Over <laughs> 800 people were, they were commenting. They were saying what their opinions are. We know in West New York, driving conditions, serious concern here, those hazardous roads when the flurries start to fall. But should your car be fine? Should you be fine if your car has too much snow buildup on it? Well, some people agree, some people disagree. It's a controversial discussion for lawmakers and for residents here. Should brushing off your car be a fineable? offense. Well, one assemblyman from Batavia says, no, people know the dangers and they don't need the state stepping in. But bills proposed in the past cite fines ranging between $150 to $300 for snowy cars like those ones you can see there and over $1,000 for truckers with more than three inches of snow on their vehicle. And all of this in the name of safety. While some may not agree, others do. It's not an unheard of idea. I can see why, but I feel like there's more important things Albany could be doing. Why in the world are we taxing something as small as like having snow on your car when everybody has it? I feel as if you shouldn't have to force someone to take that off their car. They'll do it when they're willing and ready. Again, the idea for this bill is to make hazardous road and driving conditions less hazardous for those of us out there. But for now, with little to no snow here in Buffalo, that means no law exists. So it's an ongoing conversation, one that's trending, getting a lot of attention. Our Jeff Rusek last night posted a Twitter poll. Listen to this. 56% of people say fine them. 44% say don't. Mm, how about that? Make sure you weigh in on the debate, Liz. Yeah. Thank you very much.